I'm at a different angle today. Is it weird? Is it appealing to look at my wall that I painted myself? Isn't it beautiful? So I thought I would talk about some K-pop songs that I've been liking recently. just want to take a minute to apologize in advance for the amount of 17 related songs that are on this list. I just recently, after years of avoiding them for reasons, finally was kind of blindsided by one of their songs and I actually really liked it, so I started listening to more of their songs and watching their reality shows and now I'm just, I'm in too deep, so. Also to address the very obvious change in hair color, I'm working on lightening my hair so it looks like shit right now. Excuse that, it's just first song on my list. These are in no specific order, I just wrote them down as I thought of them. Don't Wanna Cry by Seventeen. <sighs> It's a really good song. I'm not going to sit here and try to explain what these songs sound like because I'm really bad at that, but I think everybody should listen to this song and just enjoy it. It's a calming song and it's just, it's so great. This is the song that as a non-17 fan got me interested in 17. I'm really late to the party, but now I'm here, and I'm like, wow, I've missed so much. <laughs> so that's a good song, and even if you don't like Seventeen, I feel like you would like this song. I kind of lumped all the Seventeen songs together. My next one is Boom Boom by Seventeen. Also, I feel so weird saying that for some reason <laughs> out loud. Boom Boom. That's what it's called. It's a good song, too. It's more like upbeat, dancey type song than Don't Wanna Cry. And it's just, I didn't even really like it at first when I heard it, and it like grew on me, it got stuck in my head. That's a good one as well. Highlight by Performance Unit of Seventeen, but also the OT13 version, both great. Love that the Chinese members kind of got featured in the song. As a group, it's nice to see them getting recognition because I watched a lot of line distributions and often they don't really get any lines. Highlight is such a good song, I love it so much. I listen to it when I'm doing my makeup, I listen to it when I'm not doing my makeup, <laughs> I listen to it all the time, and Hoshi's voice is just, ah, oh, beautiful. Now we're gonna get out of the 17 songs, and actually this is the only girl group song on my list, but that's just because I haven't really heard any other girl group songs that I really like. It is by a group that not a lot of people know about, and I made a video on my second channel which is my K-pop only channel, and I included this song in the list because it's just awesome, but Deep End by Brave Girls is, oh, it's so good. It's like exactly what I like from a girl group. It's like kind of hip hop -y, even though I don't totally get into hip hop, but it's also pop -y, and it's kind of mellow, but it's also like a dance song, and it's really great. And I highly recommend you check it out because they deserve a lot more recognition and attention, is my personal opinion. Obviously I had to include an EXO song on this list, but it's probably not the one you're thinking. Rather than putting power, because I haven't really listened to it that many times enough to know if I actually like it, The Eve is my EXO song of choice because I've been listening to it pretty much non-stop since it came out, or since the dance practice came out and I was introduced to that song, but I love it. There are so many reasons I'm not going to list them, and it's EXO, so I don't really need a reason because, like, they're my favorite group. This one is a quite new song, I would say, maybe? Maybe not? I don't really know. I just recently heard it, so... Baby by Astro is a typical Astro song, and that's why I love it. I mean, like, a lot of people complain when groups don't change up their concepts, but I love Astro as a whole. I love the kind of cute, but not really cute, just kind of flirty kind of thing that they do. That's Astro in my mind, <laughs> but Baby is such a good song, and the line distribution is pretty good for it. As you can tell, I really like line distributions. You know, there's always improvements to be made in line distribution. We're not going to talk about that. But Baby is a pretty good one for Astro. Members all kind of got their time to shine, and it was it's awesome. So I recommend listening to that. If you don't know who Astro is, that's a good first impression, I would say. Give it a whirl. Now, Home Run by GOT7. 
This is quite an older song, sort of, but I avoided it because there was this big chunk of time where I was not listening to GOT7 because the music style that I liked was not what they were doing anymore, but I still supported them because that's possible, even though some people think to be a fan you have to like every single song that a group comes out with. That's not true. But Home Run is a really good song, and I would say from like If You Do era to Hard Carry, there was like a gap in between where I didn't really enjoy it. But then <laughs> I realized Home Run was kind of in the middle there, and I had missed it. And I listened to it, and I really liked it. So, Home Run. Good song. These next two songs are by Monsta X because I have to have Monsta X in my life at all times because they're great. Shine Forever, not necessarily a new song, but still a really great song and great concept and just great everything, great choreography, great acting, great... Shine Forever is great. <laughs> the other Monsta X song is new? I have no idea. I only just recently found out it existed. I said existed. <laughs> but anyway, Need You, not I Need You by BTS, but Need You without the I, but the same you by Monsta X. Such a cute song. I love all of their songs that have the self cam videos. I just think that's a great idea and more groups really should do that because I have way too much fun watching them. <sighs> Spend so much time replaying them over and over again. Need You is a cute little like dancey ballad type song, right? Right? I don't know. Like I said, bad at explaining things. Listen to it? Maybe? Last song on the list. But you were getting really nervous because you're like, she hasn't talked about BTS. Where is BTS? When I was making my list, I was really stressed out because I was trying to make it 10. Top 10, not top 10, just like 10 songs. And I couldn't think of any. Right before I hit the record button, I was like, oh my god, BTS. I was going to put Spring Day because I really enjoy Spring Day at the moment, but lately I have been enjoying Not Today so much. I can't explain it. I like it. <laughs> and maybe DNA would have been on this list had I listened to it. I have been avoiding it. I am stressed out. <laughs> Comebacks. Too many. There was EXO. There was BAP. There was BTS. Somebody else happened around that time. And now October. B2B. Super Junior. I think twice. Ah. Too many around the same time. Okay. So I didn't have enough spiritual energy to DNA. Yeah? That may have been on the list. I may enjoy it when I actually watch it. But for now. I, uh, not today. Such a hype song. I love it so much. I love songs that are just like, I don't know. <laughs> How do you explain it? They're hype songs. That is the end of my list. Ha <laughs> ha. I hope that these were some interesting songs that people possibly care about and that maybe if you haven't heard some of these, you will check them out and they will become your favorite songs. You're welcome. Thank you for watching. I will see you in my next video.